Greetings fellow shooters, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Zed City. Episode 55, Target Practice. So before I start the change log, very straightforward. Uh, zombie threat increased a little and contamination scale increased a little. No real other changes other than that. Same as last week. Other than that, so here as you can see the threat scale and contamination scale has gone up. And then from before we had the storyteller, which is the double pop losing his fun, Randy Random. I'm hoping that Double Pop will allow us more opportunities to rescue people. First order of business for you live viewers is to vote for the Colony Project. So here is the list I came up with, or you're welcome to vote for eight for your own. Prepare for an excursion, focus on improved weapons and armor, clear the surrounding ruins, expand the power grid, construct additional trap shockers thumpers, add sauna pool recreation, fabricate a new vehicle or viewer suggestions. And then while you work on that, I realized at the start of the stream that I'm, like, I'm basically flat out of meat. Uh, so we have a finite amount of fine meals and we have a little period of calm here going on. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to take advantage of the period of calm and get some hunting done. Uh, we're also in the middle of it's in the middle of the day, but it's a um, we've got ourselves like a absolutely lovely um, eclipse. So it looks like it's nighttime. So the plan is to come out here and just do as much hunting as we possibly can because our food stocks are terrible. So I'm having... In fact, Guero, you come out here too. I'm gonna have Guero like, haul meat home. The one thing I just realized is like this door is wood. And when we have giant burns, this door is vulnerable. So I might want to replace this door with like a non-wood variant at some point. Probably making it, uh, probably building it like here out of stone or something like that. So that we have better, greater light, uh, you know, lines of sight or something. Something to be figured out, uh, possibly later. Looks like some nice plumbing recreation may be in order, which is cool. There is some zombies around. Like, there's a zombie there. So I gotta be a little careful about where I go and what I do out here. It's low zombie threat, but it's not no zombie threat. Also, I'm gonna kill the lynx just because I don't want a predator that could potentially hunt us hanging around. That's a bad idea, I think. And then once, um... I think what I'll end up doing is just drop the corpses there and then have my hunters come back because I want to pile up bodies like it's going out of style. So just as long as the, um, as long as it's behind our walls, it's fine. Plus, we're going to want some extra help with these muffalo that just got super pissed. No, no, no. Don't put out the dead zombie. Redfield kind of needs you to fire at things. Oh my god, why are you firing at a zombie? Alright, now everybody is making really poor decisions. And Redfield's going to suffer the consequences. Help him! Oh, he got an ear destroyed. Is he one of our social... No, he's not one of our social uh, skilled people. But we can always replace that. It's not too hard. Alright, Zeus, and you want to patch him up? Because I have the desire to keep hunting. Zeus, and that does not look like you patched him. It looks like you started shooting zombies. We have a period of calm for about like two thirds of a day left. So I'm just trying to get as much kills as I can and then put put them behind the walls uh, so that we'll haul it uh, once the zombies start spawning back. Let's go for that southern one. You guys are back in action. 
Imagine losing your ear and then immediately being told to like go keep hunting. And also like how like what a muffalo bit his ear off or something? Like totally Tyson him. All right, good job, Guero. Pretty good. Let's keep hauling. We'll go for the Mega Sloth too. And it looks like you guys want uh, sauna pool recreation type stuff as a goal. Um, so currently I don't have any research queued up, I don't think. Uh, I was researching drugs, processed drugs, in order to um, make go juice and the like. But what I could do is I could pivot and go for like hot tubs. So you guys will be able to pick between sauna, swimming pool, or hot tub, or maybe all three. It's just a lot of invested time for them, potentially. No, no, don't rescue. I keep hitting rescue like that's the thing I wanted to do. Okay. We have a lot of kills under our belt now. Oh, what killed you? Your head got ripped off by a grizzly? Yeah, that that that's rough. The life of a uh, of a muffalo. Um, Redfield is deciding to take the northern path here uh, to go home. So instead of allowing him to do that, I'm going to draft him because there's a. Uh, this is kind of where the zombies are. So apparently he had some sort of awkward death wish. We'll make sure that he doesn't actually get to fulfill his wishes here. That was a pretty good haul. That'll be a lot of good meat. That'll, that'll probably be enough meat to like last us almost a year. So it was a lot of kills unless they spoil or something. Alright, taking a look at the contamination, there's basically where the fire was, there's no contamination, which is great. It's exactly what we wanted. And we have the night crew now waking up and they'll help to haul the, close the gate and haul the corpses into the stockpile. Xart, Hippie, uh, Nabla, and Alcenda, thank you for the resubs too. We might have too many corpses now. We'll probably have to get butchering. Because uh, we have a kind of a finite amount of space. And I expect that we'll fill it up. The other thing that is happening right now is um, we are browning out. So I'm going to shut off everything that is unnecessary. Oh, we've had a prolonged eclipse lasting for about a day. And it drained the batteries pretty dry. An unusually uh, long eclipse, I think. So not, not one that I want to, like, engineer a bigger power grid necessarily to combat, because it happens, like, once every few years. It's not a big deal. So, uh, what recreation to make? Hot tub, sauna, pool, or billiards? Poker. TV. And maybe what I'll do is I'll pick like the top two. So if one's leading and you want the other one, you know, I'll, I'll do two of the, the ones that you guys vote on there. Well, luckily for me, the grow lights turned off and the wind started kick, kicking up, so our batteries are uh, recovering. I think, however, I'm going to restrict everyone inside because, well, hmm. Actually, 
I might go for a bit of a slag uh, gather. Our steel is pretty low. And I think there might be time for Fang Face and Exarch to, um, to actually grab some slag with the truck. So there's sort of, um, uh, there's a little bit of slag density sort of in the heart of the map here. It's not really closely clumped together, but we'll go for slag there, I, I suppose. Now, with these uh, voted priorities, the other thing um, that I figured I should mention is, like, we do have a pretty finite amount of steel, and it's a bit of a struggle to gather more. So, with this poll, it's important to realize, like, we probably don't want to burn all of our steel making recreation stuff here, uh, considering the goal of the series is to not be here, if that makes sense. Where's my face? So things to look out for while we're up here. There's two zombies there. Most of the zombies are like locked up in the corral. There's one there. So uh, yeah, there's one actually sitting near the entryway. That one would be the only one I, I have to be cautious of, I suspect. One, two, three, four. I'm going to create a allowable zone here so they don't leave this area. Good job, night crew. Please come back with all the slack. Are you? Okay, and then let's also high priority hall. I think Fangface was deconstructing flooring, which is not something we care for him to do at the moment. So if you guys wanted saunas and hot tubs, uh, in terms of research, I have enough for the electric sauna heater already. Uh, the question is the cost, I suppose. So it's 200 steel, ouch. Or I could do a fueled sauna heater, uh, but we don't really have like an abundance of fuel either. So probably, oh. Oh, for real. For real, Exarch. For real. Oh, my God. I gave you one job. And you just blew up the truck. You... Potato. You... Po no, potato human. Do not shoot past the truck. Oh, my God. Well, the elders of the community... Uh, just super screwed up. That truck isn't moving anywhere until its chem tank is repaired. Because in the abundance of wisdom that she had, being unattended for all of like one second, she decided to rip a minigun shot on the singular zombie that was nearby, landing all of the bullets into the chem fuel tank of the truck and uh, disabling it. So that's good. Uh, you guys want a hot tub and sauna. So... Let's go ahead and um, gather materials for a hot tub. The hot tub was the highest one. And I'll ask you, should we build a sauna as well? So there's no uh, chem fuel nearby. So we're gonna, uh, someone like Zeus is going to need to run chem fuel over to the truck once the truck actually has a fuel tank, which might take a little bit of repairs going on. And unfortunately, our threat value is climbing. So it's a situation where like, we might have to abandon the truck out here for a bit while, um, 
Wait, what are you doing? Why can't you repair this anymore? No, don't pack it. What is repairing it? Is that like a smithing task? Also, what is what is that? Why is there uh what <coughs> I don't even know what's going on anymore. I can switch the uh material of the electric heater? Oh yeah, I can. Okay. So it's it's a lot cheaper uh with a like stone based heater. That that's that's fair. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to have Guero come out here and um, help out the elders in repairing. I think he's because he's much higher smithing skill. I think he repairs quicker. And I'm going to not want to leave the truck out here. So they're still packing it and Guero's coming to repair it. And then once it's repaired, I'll bring fuel. Oh, yeah, I could, you know, have him bring fuel, I suppose. Let's do that. I don't want to load it into the truck just yet. Um, because there isn't a fuel tank in there. So, it'd be a little bit of a problem loading it into a fuel tank that doesn't exist. There we go. Will the zombies attack on man truck? No, they won't. So if I had to leave it here, it wouldn't be a problem. I could always go back for it in the next period of calm. I would just be pissed that Xark decided to just mag dump the truck for virtually no reason whatsoever. But hey, that's what I get for not paying attention for uh, one second. Shame on me for looking away, trusting that the pawns would do pawn things. Or not to do pawn things, I should say. Here comes Guero with the fuel. And I'm going to set the chem fuel amount to zero. So they don't stick fuel into a broken fuel tank. Because I am not really sure if they would do that. But I don't want to find out if they do. Exarch is going around just um, culling some of the zombies in the local area. Make it a little bit easier for us to... Uh, oh, don't stop removing the floor. Make it a little bit easier for us to... Safely pack the truck. And hopefully Guero... Yeah, okay. Guero is getting the chem tank up and running. Well, all we really need is the chem tank repaired enough, like in the red, so it can hold fuel and then like have it limp back to base I don't necessarily need it fully repaired out here in the field you guys want a sauna as well got it um all right we don't have hot tub research but we're currently researching it um so I will turn back the high-tech research bench now that the uh solar flare is over and get that going Hi squad, thank you for the uh, the resub too, and Tangier t as well. I'll drink to that. So it's worth noting in the future, I won't trust these guys to do their own fuel runs. Uh, so it's repaired enough. We haven't had zombie spawn yet. We're still in zero threat for just a little bit longer. So I'm going to try to get as much of the repairs done as possible before we uh, we pack up and run back in. Pretty good amount of um 
of steel as well. Uh, it, you know, from the slag. One other thing I, I think I want to do is to deconstruct some of these walls so that it's not a, a zombie trap. Because that area I've identified as a place where zombies get stuck and get enraged. And enraged zombies are a lot harder to deal with than uh, more passive ones. That's super weird. Looking at where it wants to pack, there's like invisible slag that no longer exists. All right, truck's almost repaired. Man, that was a hell of a minigun blast. It really ripped through that truck quick. I'm surprised like how much damage that did because it wasn't very long. Yeah, it was a minigun. That's totally fair. I'm just surprised it uh, took out such a huge chunk of the truck. But I mean, it makes sense, I suppose. And the punishment for the night crew uh, for doing that is to pull kind of a uh, all dare or whatever you want to call the opposite of all nighter to get this thing up and running. But we haven't had any zombies spawn yet because we're still at the zero. Okay, it's repaired. Nice. Thank you, Guero. I am not getting the prompt for refueling. Hopefully when they're done packing it, they'll actually... Can you refuel it? No? Did I remove that tile from the zone? No, I didn't. It's, it's a, just a different stockpile. And it's a valid stockpile, they're just not using it. I think it might be that I set the fuel targets and like, for whatever reason they haven't reset. I, I don't know. I really don't. Vehicles are weird and buggy. But Guero, you can go home. This isn't your fight anymore. Alright, the, uh, the simpletons, I'm gonna just start calling them the simpletons. The simpletons don't understand that, like, vehicles need fuel. My guess is, I need to save and load. My guess is it's just, it's, uh, it's vehicle bugginess. And there's no point in smashing my head against the keyboard trying to figure it out. I'll just, I'll just save and load. Mikulski, thank you for the, uh, the resub, too. Oh, yeah, see? Here, refueling Pooker. Oh, imagine that. Like, save and load. That works fine. Shake my head. Make sure not to run into anyone. And we parked it perfect. Everyone's gonna be inside and we'll get rid of that extra zone that we don't need anymore. Bye-bye. Good job, guys. You made one simple fetch quest into a, a near catastrophe. I'm, I'm so proud. I'm so proud of the elders in this community. My heart swells with pride. All right, uh, you guys wanted the sauna and the the hot tub. Um, I, 
up. So, we're still researching the hot tub. Uh, the way the sauna works is you just stick the sauna heater in a room. That's pretty much it. And then you can have, have, have sauna seating. So, I'm going to do the sauna here. With a door. Uh, that actually might be a bad idea, because if we need to lock our drug closet, anyone that's in the sauna is kind of stuck forever. Um, so the sauna does get pretty hot. I could put the sauna back here. You know, that actually might be nice, is having the sauna overlook the... Let's call it a pond. I know it's really not much of a pond. Maybe I'll have, I'll have a few different options. Sorry, I'm getting a overhead cold. So this will be option number one, where we put it, um, maybe not literally on the on the pond, but like somewhere near the pond that doesn't block the wind turbines. Option number two will be, uh, let's say here, tucked in. It could be a really small sauna, like built into this um, void in the mountain. Uh, one of the advantages of the sauna here is the hot saunas do get pretty hot, so the heat produced by the sauna will help to warm up adjacent rooms. Maybe. Uh, we could also put the sauna over here if we wanted a sauna near the farm or something like that so i'll have you decide where the sauna goes and i believe the sauna heater is uninstallable like you can move it around but um just in case i'm not going to build it until then so i don't have all the uh dubs bad hygiene stuff memorized I suppose I could have actually uh, included a zone closer to the lake. I'm not really sure that that's like a great idea. So we are now at threat 25%. And we've had two zombies spawn, which means that there's anything below roughly 20% and we won't have any additional spawns. I love how pissed they are. They're just completely rabid, angry, and trying to get to me, but have no idea how. It's lovely. I did get a lot of YouTube comments asking about uh, why I double insulated the walls of the freezer on the inside of the freezer. And the reason is because of the temperature gradient between the freezer and the inside of the base. The inside of the base is kept at room temperature and the freezer is kept freezing. So the coolers have to work less if they're double insulated, even on the inside of our own base. Uh, which is why I did it. So taking a look at the forecast, we have in about two days, another period of calm, allowing us the opportunity to either get more slag outside or to go on an excursion. We currently don't have any known ruins out here, pristine ruins that are not picked over. Or alternatively, we could um, plan to do ruin removal or um, sort of a wall redesign with that time. All right, Sana, we're going to stick you here. So it'll be a little three by four Sana. Or, uh, you know, I'll just fill the entire void. Big, bigger Sana. That means let's not mine out the sides of the mountain because we have Sana mining to do. Oh, we've got an albino somewhere. Opening doors. Where are you? I don't know. So, um, 
Zeus in, because Redfield got disfigured, should we fix Redfield's ear? I would probably just do a cochlear implant rather than the full bionic ear because hearing is not an important stat in RimWorld for the most part. Um, but I, I can have you guys decide. Because Zeusin's opinion of Redfield, which is a really, really sad game mechanic in, in RimWorld, if you ask me, but her opinion of Redfield has gone down as a result of his ear disfiguration. Which seems kind of unfair. But, you know, just is what it is, right? Come on. Uh, Fang face, you're the slowest miner ever. Ooh, zombie attack. Oh, yeah. Electric. Toxic. I still don't know where that albino is. Suppose I haven't really been looking for it. We have somewhat of a, like an albino proof base. Not proof, but like albino resistant base because of how many airlocks we have. The chance of zombies going through the doors as the albino unlocks them at the same speed the, that the albino travels at would be very, very unlikely. Basically, the albino outpaces the other zombies. So by the time the zombie, the albino hits the second door, um, the zombies that were led into the first door haven't reached the second door in time. So it's like kind of a no, uh, not serious situation as a result. Oh, there he is. He opened the door and just like ran away because he got shot at. That's funny. All right, and you all want to fix his ear, so how to fix his ear. Technically, we have heal serum, right? Um, to make a natural ear back. I'm not saying it's a good use of heal serum, I'm just saying it's a possible use of heal serum. I'll have you vote on that real quick. Oh nice, the super, super sticky slime is going away due to the dusting of snow. Which is great, because the super sticky slime on the inside of our walls is really annoying. As it slows us down too. So, Madzi, how are you getting along with others? You like some people a lot. Cool. Uh, so, the sauna area is done. We just need to smooth out the floor. And then... Stick the... Sauna in there. And then... We have a lot of wood, right? Yeah, we have enough wood. Put some... Wood seating in there. Like that, I guess. I don't know. It's a small area. It's the best I could do. Also seems like I need to turn the smelter on. Have all that slag and not doing anything with it. Kind of silly. I'll allow people to haul the slag closer to the smelter if they want. Nobody in the community does art, no. Not really. The best art is to be like a six. So it's, in my opinion, not really worth the, uh, the effort. Because at six, you're going to get ugly stuff that's going to make people more sad than happy. So we do have a tanky coming in. Uh, the vector that they're coming in doesn't really worry me. I think they're not going to break any critical walls. A slime here. Miner there. This pack looked like it was traveling to me, and then it kind of, like, lost interest, which is weird. And then, of course, the northwest corral is popping off, but when does that, when is that not true? That's pretty normal. 
We're going a whole lot of gear. All right. Y'all say yes. I commit to it. So we'll have Goro do that. The other thing that I wanted Goro to do is to get a Marine Helmet. Um, this was part of the voted priority from like two streams ago, but it took a while to research power armor. Um, so we'll finally get the Marine Armor for him for the helmet. So a heater specifically designed for creating a sauna room, used in the sauna regularly, reduces the risk of heart attack, heats the room to 60C. Cool. And it's a sauna room. I'll have to send uh, shooters down to the docks here. Get rid of that tanky. What do I think of wall light mod? Um, I've used it once in the past for, if I recall correctly, for um, the Vultures series because Vanilla expanded Ancients incorporated wall light into their mod pack. Um, but if it doesn't, if it's not part of a build-in into the mod pack, I don't use it. I don't use mods, I don't have to. In other words. I wonder who's gonna actually use the sauna first. Brand new sauna and no one's touched it. And then we're about two thirds of the way into researching hot tubs. I suppose what I could do is have you guys vote on what next research to do. Let me just make sure that this is the full list. Um. I guess I could do Hygiene Bionics, so I'm going to add that to it. It'd be kind of a weird thing to do, because they're very unnecessary. I could also do Deep Wells. Um, not that I'm worried about the amount of um, carpet. I'm not worried about the water, amount of water that we have. We have plenty of water. Uh, drugs. Yeah, that's good enough for now. So you can, you guys can decide on the next research project from this list. Good enough. Runmare, thank you for the resub. What's a cochlear implant? The cochlear implant is like a cheaper version of a bionic ear. Um, Fang Face has two of them. So it's a 65% efficiency ear, uh, but it does not cost nearly as much as the bionic ear. So a bionic ear, for point of reference, costs three advanced components and ten plasteel, which is... Roughly the same cost as a lot of other bionics, maybe plus or minus five plasteel and an advanced component. And then the cochlear implant is uh, 20 steel, four components, and it counts as a bionic for transhumanism. So the reason why we gave um, two cochlear implants to Fangface is he is a body modder, which means he wants to be transhumanist. He wants basically prosthetic parts in him. So if we take a look at his um, mood here. Um, the two cochlear implants that we put in him makes him quite pleased, which is weird. My two cents, like if I was to code it as a body modder, I would only have the body modders happier with greater than 100% efficiency body parts, like basically bionic body parts, because putting in technically like putting in peg legs will like make a body modder happy, which just is super strange. But you know, that's what it is. What are you doing, Exarch? What was XR? Did anyone? What what are you doing? Did someone explain to me like what's going on with her. Is this uh? Is this mental illness? <laughs> like what the hell? Watch my power for the sauna. Yeah, I know it takes a lot. Uh, I might need to save and load again, because she is... Uh... She's having some, some troubles. I don't know what the troubles are, but clearly 
she's pacing neurotically in the garage. Okay, and she's not stopping that. You stand over here. Oh, dangerous situation. They are coming into my entryway. Well, Exarch, I have a new task for you. Shoot some zombies. So I'm literally leaving Zeusin out of the uh, out of the, sh the shooting range, let's call it, so that she can tend to the farms and do some research. And it looks to me like you guys want auto cannon next. Got it. So we're heading down to a zero threat. Um, what should we do in the next period of calm? It's kind of like two options. Well, there's actually a third option. Let me put that third option. There we go. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Z City, which originally streamed live on Twitch December 10th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow zombie slayers. 